Hands, feet, and body control are still the main ingredients of this sport, but it's gone through enormous changes since it was first organized in the early 19th century. Back in 1811, it was a German, Friedrich Ludwig Jahn, who laid out the first field for calisthenics and gymnastics, and laid down the first rules for competition. Back then, no one dreamed that the sport would evolve into spectacular acrobatics like this. Well, let's get back to the late 20th century in Stuttgart, West Germany. And we have a couple of guests we'd like to introduce to you. On my left is Kelly Garrison, and on my right is Phil Cahoy. Now, they are gymnasts from the United States, touring here in Europe. They're competing here in Europe with a couple of meets. And first of all, I'd like to talk to Kelly. Kelly, you've been with the team now internationally about five years. How do you find all this touring? Do you like all this time when you have to train and also be in a foreign country? Yes, I like to visit foreign countries, but um, you get to meet many friends and um, you get to learn more about the country and it, it helps you realize more about your own country um, trying to explain it to another a foreign person. But I like to train and I like to compete and um, represent the United States. What kind of training schedule do you try to keep when you're on the road like this with a few weeks outside the United States? Well, we try to maintain our, our training schedule and ours this trip has been pretty busy, um, but we enjoy it and when, once we get home, um, it's time to relax, so we like it. All right, you, you're having a couple of meets on this tour. What are you working on personally? Is there a particular area you're trying to improve on or you're just trying to overall improve? Well, not for, I mean, not here on this trip, you don't try to improve, you just do your routine and the best job that you can do. You train while you're, more while you're at home. And um, I'll be working more on new skills once I get back home, um, particularly on the vaulting and um, maybe on the floor exercise. Thank you and good luck. Thanks. Move over to Phil Cahoy. And Phil, you're on the international circuit a little bit longer even, a few more years anyway. Uh, when you come into an event like here in Germany, and you know that you're the, the foreigner, does that make anything a little different for you or not? No, you seem a little bit lonely out there sometimes. You know, the crowds rooting for their own home team and things like that, but you just have to sit down and uh, think for yourself that you've done these routines a million times and it really doesn't matter what you're doing. Uh, you're rather tall for a gymnast. Uh, do you have to compensate anywhere? Do you feel it's an advantage? Uh, there are some things that I have to compensate for. I have to work around the rules a little bit because uh, you know some of the taller guys don't do some of the things that... Uh, smaller guys do, they don't spin as fast sometimes when they're in the laid out position, so I have to compensate a little bit, but it's not too bad. All right. You don't train necessarily, try out new things or work on things on tour, but what will you be working on when you go back home and start thinking ahead? Oh, uh, in uh, gymnastics you have the compulsories and the optionals, and uh, mostly I'd like to work on compulsories and get things more basics down and uh, work on, you know, some new skills to bring our uh, level up a little bit to compete with the Russians a little bit more. Thank you very much, and good luck to both of you on this trip. Thanks a lot. Stuttgart's 15,000-seat arena was jam-packed for both days of competition. Now you're in for a treat right at the start. Kelly Garrison's spectacular mount to the balance beam. The balance beam, only four inches wide. It's the nemesis of most women gymnasts, but it just happens to be Garrison's favorite discipline. This year, the 18-year-old student finished second overall in the U.S. National Combined event. And it goes almost without saying that she took the first on the beam. Here in Stuttgart, her exercise was smooth and confident, an excellent display of ability with clean, fast somersaults and graceful static passages. Garrison's overall performance and her very impressive dismount were wildly applauded. She's really something special on that treacherous beam. Kelly finished sixth overall in the four-discipline competition. At this meet, Garrison and the other competitors were working under a new judging system. Shirley, they've added a couple of judges in order to hopefully make it a little bit even more even or fair, if we want to use that word. Is it going to work? Is it going to help? Yes, I think it's going to help in terms of uh, making the judging more fair. And also what it does, it helps uh, differentiate between the gymnasts because you have four scores in the average rather than two. Therefore, you have different uh, types of points in order to differentiate between each of the gymnasts. The second of the four women's disciplines was the vault. And here's a young lady you may recognize from the World Championships. 
the diminutive Astrid Heza of East Germany. Her landing here wasn't quite clean, but her performance was good enough to give her third place overall. And she's just one of the many talented younger gymnasts on the East German squad. Ekaterina Zabo of Romania, who won four gold medals in the Los Angeles Olympics, came to Stuttgart as the odds-on favorite to give the East German girls a run for the money in this cup competition. The 18-year-old was awarded a 9.8 from the judges for her floor exercise, where she had to be satisfied with second place overall. Tiny Dagmar Kefsten of East Germany, only four feet, ten and a half inches tall and weighing all of 81 pounds, was in top form for this event and turned in a great performance on the uneven bars. Although this is her first year of international competition, she won the silver and two bronze medals in Montreal. And after a clean dismount from the bars, she gained enough points to take first place in the women's competition here in Stuttgart. Now to the men's event, as Phil Cahoy prepares for his exercise in the horizontal bar, coached by his father. What's it like for the father to have to stand and watch the son perform, and then say, oh, he got good or bad grades? What's it like? Well, uh, I, I don't know for other coaches, but myself, I guess I feel uh, when he goes up in the apparatus, I hope he's not as tight inside as I am, because I get really uptight. But his son showed no sign of nerves in the high bar. Whereas Phil's height of just under 5 feet 11 tends to be a disadvantage in disciplines like the parallel bars, the floor exercise, and the vaulting horse, here his movements are given added elegance. The 24-year-old student has competed with the U.S. national team in the World Championships since 1978. The step he had to take here at the end of his dismount didn't cost him much in points, and Phil Cahoy finished a very respectable sixth overall against top-class competition. One of the very best is Li Ning of China. With a balance beam is for most of the women, the most dreaded discipline, the side horse is for the men. It's a basically thankless task that demands as much brute strength as the rings, but just try to make it look elegant. Li Ning does, consistently, and he even manages to incorporate handstands into the smooth flow of his exercise. A perfect dismount to top it all off, and the 22-year-old phys ed student captured second place overall. Only in slow motion can you really appreciate the power and control of Li Ning's fine performance. Besides the horizontal bar and the side horse, the men also competed on the rings, the parallel bars, and the vaulting horse, and in the floor exercise. Here on the mat, Silvio Kroll of East Germany. Now 20 years old, Kroll began serious gymnastics when he was only six, and it was a long, hard road to his first major international successes, which didn't come until just this year. But now he's really hit his stride. In the World Championships, he took third in the combined event. And here in Stuttgart's International Cup competition, despite a few minor fluffs, Silvio Kroll beat out two Chinese, Li Ning and Su Tsi Kieng, to capture first place. Once again, Silvio Kroll's finishing leg in the floor exercise, a very talented gymnast who only 20 is going to be around for quite a few years yet, making gymnastic life tough for the rest of the world. <laughs>